hi guys in this video we will learn how to use full calendar in laravel live wire so let's get started with example and let's see that okay so let me go here and you can see that i simply created one component that's called events component and let me go here and you can see that i created simply simple component and if i go to the blade file over here you can simply say hi okay so first of all what i will do so simply go to the full calendar official documentation okay so let me go here into the website and go to the document sorry not that go to the pricing getting started with the free and let me go here and script tag so let me go here you can see that how you can use so there is only simple example so what i will do simply copy this cdn so i'm not going to use npm or anything for this if you want to use npm then you can use this command okay but for now we are use cdn so simply copy this and go to our resource layouts and app so i will put it that on our app.blade file simply save it okay now let me go here and you can see that first of all you need to take this div simply copy this go here and i will simply paste it over here okay save it next you can see that they already given like how to load full calendar but they they given add listener with dom content load okay so what we will do simply go here and i will do script and script okay and i will say script okay and i will use laravel live wire event okay so laravel live wire ev uh, okay initialized event so what i will do so i will say laravel live wire initialized event and here i will be write the code so after initialized this entire live wire component then it's load okay so i will simply copy this and paste it over here okay so that means this is properly load over here okay i will make it some space over here save it and now let me go here and refresh it you can see that now full calendar is load over here properly okay you can see that yeah okay now what i will do next okay for example if i click on it it should be open a pop-up or something and you can add the event name over here okay so let me go here and first of all there is a full calendar documentation has an option so i will use that select table okay by default will be false so we make it true and then i will simply say select and i will use function and into the bracket that should be info and here i will be simply say console.log and i will simply say info so let's see okay so now let me go here and simply open inspect element console refresh and if i click on it you can see that i can get start time and end time over here okay simply i will select two you can see over here okay so that means right now select option is working so i can select multiple days as well okay so what i want to do the next so that should be open some prompt and then it will it should be asked like what is the name of the event okay so what i will do i will simply write over here where and i will simply say title and i will use prompt by default that uh, and enter event name okay and simply i will do console.log and that should be a title okay simply refresh it refresh and if i click on it you can see that by default javascript provided that prompt so i will add simply test and click on it you can see that i can also get it on the result okay so what i will do the next i will use laravel live wire dispatch event okay so i will e dispatch the event and call again live wire class function and create one one event over here okay so i already created table for it so let me go here and you can see that title start and end date okay and same thing if i go here i already created model that's called event model and we will use it over here okay so first of all what i will do simply go here and you can see that in the object there is an end str start str so we can get the start date and end date over here all, all, as well okay so simply go here and first of all i will say live wire dot dispatch and i will add event name so what is the event name add event and here i will be pass as a json so i will simply say first title and that should be a title variable <coughs> next will be start 
and that I, I will get from the info info dot you can see that start there then I will say and and that should be coming from info I will say and str okay so as you can see over here okay simply paste it over here and save okay now what I will do simply go here and I will create one function over here okay and I will simply say and event okay and here what I will do simply we are passing three variables so what I will do title and I will say start and then I will say end okay and here simply I will say info sorry I will make it dd okay that will be perfect fine title and simply save it okay and what I will do simply I will go here and I will use live wire on okay so here we are using the dispatch event so what I will do simply declare it add event simply save it okay now what I will do simply refresh it choose it and I will simply say test click on it you can see that I can get the test over here okay so next what I need to do simply I will use event model and then I will simply say colon colon create and then I will simply say title that should be coming from the title so the next should be start that's coming from start variable and and we are getting from the argument so I will say and okay yeah, simply save it okay now let me refresh it okay yes maybe create yeah simply save it okay now let me refresh it and I will select this two and I will simply say test one and click on okay you can see that but you can see that that's also go on our like full calendar and let me go to the database and refresh it you can see that event dispatch properly over here and created one record over here but you can see that that our full calendar is gone over here okay so what I what I can do simply go here we will simply use wire ignore save it okay so that means it will ignore to re-render again and again when our like a component class will affect okay so simply refresh it and i will do again simply i will say test 2 and click on okay you can see that now our full calendar is stay same as it is okay so now let me go here refresh it you can see that like test 2 event is also created over here okay so how can we do you can see that that both over here created and refresh it but you can see that i cannot see over here how like what events I created in past so how can we display so simply go here and I will take one variable over here that's called public events then I will simply create one more function that's called mount so by default when our component will be loaded at that time it will be call okay so simply what I will do dollar this events and then I will simply say event colon colon select and I will select ID title and then I will say start and and then I will simply say get and then I will simply say to array okay so that way we can use in use it in our save it if use it in our over here into the blade file okay so simply go here and here there is an option that's called events and here we will define that all the events over here okay so i will simply say events save it okay and now let me go here and refresh it you can see that both events are displayed over here properly okay you can see test one test two and here now let me choose this two and i will simply say test three and click on okay you can see that now it's created okay let me go to the database you can see over here okay it's created but you can see that it's not real time load and when i refresh it now it's appear over here so it should be real time over there okay so how can we do that so let me go here and once this one added what i will do i will create one function over here and that's called like uh, load events 
okay and then this query should be here okay and i will say save it okay and what i will do simply this function i will be call over here okay loads and save it okay same thing what i will do once our event will be call at that time i will be call again this load event so that means it will again new event will be added to the events variable okay and then what i will do i will fire one event from here i will dispatch and then i will say event loaded okay loaded okay simply save it okay and then i will simply pass events with this events okay so that means once our event will be at at that time load events and then i will dispatch one more event event load and you can see that pass events on that okay so simply go to the blade area and here what i will do i will simply say live wire and then i will simply use on event here that should be event load event loaded and simply say event loaded and then here what i will do simply what i will say calendar object i will use so i will say event dot first of all i will remove all events okay so that means it will remove every events okay and here i will be pass events because we already passing over here and simply i will simply console dot log so let's see okay first refresh it okay and now i will say simply test for click on okay you can see that i can get you can see over here all the events one two three four okay but you can see that all event are removed so that means this is working perfectly fine now what i will do i will simply use calendar dot add event source okay and then i will re-add all the events so that means it will be reload save it and now let me refresh it i will 10 i will say test 6 click on ok you can see that now it's real time loaded over here i will choose these three and then i will say test 7 click ok you can see that now same thing i will choose again this and i will say test 9 and ok so you can see that now it's created real time events and let me go to the database you can see that several events over here refresh it and you can see here so you can see how easily we can implement full calendar using laravel live wire so if you like this video then please share with your friends and thank you so much for watching guys